Hey ladies, and welcome back to my channel. So good to have you here with me today. Today we're talking about some life-changing habits that have changed my life in a huge way. So grab some coffee and let's talk about it. All right, so a couple things have inspired today's video. I've just been reading a lot about health and wellness and life. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts, some audio books. I'll link a couple of them down below. Uh, one that really kind of talked to me regarding habits and how we live is the Jane Austen diet. I'll link it down below. Um, also, we recently moved and I feel like when you move, when you get a new house, a fresh canvas, a fresh start, you're able to see like, okay, we did this in that house and I want to implement this in this house. So I've been changing habits and rearranging things. And for about a month and a half now, um, I've implemented some awesome habits that have just helped me live easier, live better and live full and whole. Before I get started, I do want to say, I'm aware that all of us come from different backgrounds. Uh, we all are operating with a certain amount of money, certain amount of help, a certain amount of resources. So while some of these habits may not correlate or translate to your life, my hope is that by you seeing the habits I've created that have changed my life, that it will make you examine your own life and see where you can move some pieces and change some habits to better live your life. All right, so the first habit is asking for help. Now, I've implemented asking for help in two big ways, and it has changed my life, my energy, and our days. So the number one way that I've asked for help is I've hired a mommy helper, and she comes only once a week, only for about two to four hours, and she plays with the kids. She takes them out. She gets them engaged while mommy is here getting work done. Now, I have always been a stay-at-home mom. I just recently became a work-at-home mom, and any work-at-home mom knows that juggling it is insane. Uh, it takes a lot, a lot of time, um, a lot of intention. And oftentimes I was filming videos and my kids were watching TV. I was working and they were on their tablets and I just wanted to stop that habit. So I finally broke down and asked for help. And I want to say this specifically for the women who they don't live next to family, you know, whether you're a military family or for other reasons, you just don't live close to your family. It is okay to ask for help. It is more than okay to seek it out. Ask for help. Outsource things when you need to. Another way that I've asked for help is I've hired a tutor for Titus. Now, Titus has a reading tutor that he sees once a month, and it has changed our lives. It has been so good to have him be with her and to have him get that individual one-on-one -on -one reading done. It's I had a burden on my shoulders regarding Titus's reading and it's just taken that burden off. And it's so good to know that instead of me stressing about it, I've asked for help, I've hired help and they're gonna do it. It is okay to say, I cannot do this anymore and I need to ask for help. So habit number one, ask for help mama when you need help. Habit number two, and I recently started this too when we moved to this house is being mindful of your money, of your budget. Now, our family budget is like set in stone and uh, taken care of. But since I, you know, I work at home now, I'm bringing in money now, I've decided that I wanna be very disciplined with the money that I'm bringing in. I want to stretch it, I want to steward it well. And when I do steward it well, I am less stressed. I feel good. I know that I have this going in that account and this going in that account and everything is where it needs to be. Budget your money so that you're not stressed about your money. When I first got married, we did Dave Ramsey and it has been such a lifesaver. And having Dave Ramsey as soon as we got married really set the tone for our finances and helped us out a lot. If you are lost as far as finances, if you don't know what to do with your money, the best way to save your money, what kind of accounts you need to have, 
podcasts, you guys. They're free and they are a wealth of knowledge. Dave Ramsey actually has a podcast that you can listen to. Um, again, I just find that part of being a homemaker, part of being a stay-at-home mother, a woman, is budgeting and budgeting well, taking care of the needs of your family in all ways, right? So be on top of your budget because it's going to give you that peace of mind to let your days be as easy as possible. When you don't have to worry or stress about money, it's just one less thing, right? Money don't buy happiness uh, at all, but when it's taken care of, when you have everything where it needs to be, it is one less thing that you have to stress out about. Habit, habit number three is a habit that I talk about all the time, and it is just waking up earlier before my kids to have some time alone. Now, this time alone looks different every day, but I usually get up around 6 a.m., and that gives me about an hour before feet start coming downstairs. And sometimes I just have my coffee and I sit on my porch. Other times I walk around my house. I do about three, four, five laps around my house, just walking, breathing in the fresh air, looking at the trees. I don't have my phone with me. I don't have my coffee with me. I am just walking. That's something else that I kind of picked up from the Jane Austen diet. It is such a good book. Read it. If you're a Jane Austen fan, you're going to love it even more. Uh, other mornings, it's me running on my treadmill before the kids wake up. Other mornings, it's me laying right here in this bed until they wake up. But I find just having that moment, that hour, sometimes it's only 30 minutes, honestly, of just quietness for me to prepare my heart and my mind for the day. It sets the tone. It sets the tone. You've heard this before. There's a reason why people say it all the time, because it really does set the tone. And for the homemakers and the mamas, it changes your life. So that's a habit that if you haven't um, taken a hold of, and maybe it's just not for you. Maybe you're not a morning person and you don't want that and you don't need to have alone time in the morning, then disregard this. But if you feel like you're struggling, if you feel like when your kids wake up, you're already tired and behind, try getting up a little bit before then and watch it just change your day. I also find that when I wake up before them, I have a better countenance. I am more joyful and my demeanor is not like, stressed out already. Oh my gosh, why are you guys up? Why are you guys asking me for stuff? I just woke up. Give me a minute, right? No, I've had time to gather myself. And because of that, they're waking up to a happy mom who's so happy to see them and greet them and be with them for the morning. And the last habit, I believe we're on habit number four, uh, that I've taken a hold of and really drive it home every night is blessing the house in the evening. So this usually happens after the kids go to sleep. I look at my home. Now it's not a wreck because I clean all day. I make sure everything is constantly kind of in its place. But I go throughout the home and I just beautify it, right? I bless it. I fix the pillows. I vacuum. I do an extra sweep. I light candles to set the tone, right? I make sure everything is in its place. So that when we wake up tomorrow, we're waking up to a fresh home that has been blessed and loved on and, and beautified. I think waking up to a messy home, to a dish full of dishes, to a living room that's out of sorts, just doesn't, it, it, it doesn't sound good to me. It's never sound good to me. I've always been uh, discipline in this area. I do not go to sleep with a messy house unless it's like we had a Halloween party uh, or a Christmas party the night before. But even then, like most of it is cleaned up. Going to sleep with a messy house drives me crazy. So bless your home. When the kids can't make any more messes, when your husband's doing whatever he does, bless your home. Before you get in bed, before you shower, before you relax for the night, bless the home. All right, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a fun one for me to make. Like I said, moving into this house, uh, it's, a, it's a blank canvas and you get to see the habits that you wanna change and the habits that you wanna do better with. And so I just wanted to share those habits with you guys. Please let me know some life-changing habits that you've taken a hold of. Um, let me know if you're willing to be vulnerable where you need to change some habits. And again, if anything, I hope that this video inspires you to examine your own life and see what you need to change if you're feeling a little stuck. All right, ladies, thank you so much for watching. Click that red subscribe button. If you haven't, give this video a big thumbs up. 
Tell all your friends about us and we'll be back again with another video soon. Bye guys.